Hey babe, and anybody else watching, and welcome back to A Life Together. Today we are finishing off Ecclesiastes, which means 9, 10, 11, and 12. So yesterday, uh, oppression, friendlessness, we looked at toil, advancement, and riches, um, and then we also looked at obedience, and then standing in awe of God. Today, as we finish off Ecclesiastes, we're looking at a common destiny for all, uh, wisdom versus folly, remembering your creator, and then the whole point of it. So the, the final conclusion of Ecclesiastes, where's, where's all this pointing to? So we'll look at that. Again, 9 through 12 is where we are today. So Ecclesiastes chapter 9. So I reflected on all this and concluded that the righteous and the wise and what they do are in God's hands, but no man knows whether love or hate awaits him. All share a common destiny, the righteous and the wicked, the good and the bad, the clean and the unclean, those who offer sacrifices and those who do not. As it is with the good man, so with the sinner. As it is with those who take oaths, so with those who are afraid to take them. This is the evil in everything that happens under the sun. The same destiny overtakes all. The heart of men, moreover, are full of evil, and there is madness in their hearts while they live, and afterward they join the dead. Anyone who is among the living has hope. Even a live dog is better off than a dead lion. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, and even the memory of them is forgotten. Their love, their hate, and their jealousy have long since vanished. Never again will they have a part in anything that happens under the sun. Go, eat your food with gladness, and drink your wine with a joyful heart, for it is now that God favors what you do. Always be clothed in white, and always anoint your head with oil. Enjoy life with your wife, whom you love, all the days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun, all your meaningless days. For this is your lot in life, and whatever in your toilsome labor under the sun. Whatever your hand finds you to do, do it with all your might. For in the grave where you are going, there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise, or wealth to the brilliant, or favor to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. Moreover, no man knows when his hour will come. As fish are caught in a cruel net, or birds are taken in a snare, so men are trapped by evil times that fall unexpectedly upon them. I also saw under the sun this example of wisdom that greatly impressed me. There was once a small city with only a few people in it, and a powerful king came against it, surrounded it, and built a huge siege works against it. Now there lived in that city a man poor but wise, and he saved the city by his wisdom. But nobody remembered that poor man, so I said, Wisdom is better than strength, but the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are no longer heeded. The quiet words of the wise are more to be heeded than the shouts of a ruler of fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. Chapter 10 As dead flies give perfume a bad smell, so a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor. The heart of the wise inclines to the right, but the heart of the fool to the left. Even as he walks along the road, the fool lacks sense and shows everyone how stupid he is. If a ruler's anger rises against you, do not leave your post. Calmness can lay great errors to rest. There is an evil I have seen under the sun, the sort of error that arises from a ruler. Fools are put in many high positions, while the rich occupy the low ones. I have seen slaves on horseback, while princes go on foot like slaves. Whoever digs a pit may fall into it. Whoever breaks through a wall may be bitten by a snake. Whoever quarries stones may be injured by them. Whoever splits logs may be endangered by them. If the axe is dull and its edge is unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring success. If a snake bites before it is charmed, there is no profit for the charmer. Words from a wise man's mouth are gracious, but a fool is consumed by his own lips. At the beginning, his words are folly. At the end, they are wicked madness, and the fool multiplies words. No one knows what is coming. Who can tell him what will happen after him? A fool's work wearies him. He does not know the way to town. Woe to you, O land whose king was a servant, and whose princes feast in the morning. Blessed are you, O land, whose king is of noble birth, whose princes eat at the proper time, for strength and not for drunkenness. If a man is lazy, the rafters sag. If his hands are idle, the house leaks. A feast is made for laughter, and wine makes life merry, but money is the answer for everything. 
Do not revile the king, even in your thoughts, or curse the rich in your bedroom, because a bird of the air may carry your words, and a bird on the wing may report what you say. Chapter 11. Cast your bread upon the waters, for after many days you will find it again. Give portions to seven, yes to eight, for you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. If clouds are full of water, they pour rain upon the earth. Whether a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where it falls, there it will lie. Whoever watches the wind will not plant, whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the path of the wind or how the body is formed in a mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. Sow your seed in the morning, and at evening let not your hands be idle. For you do not know which will succeed, whether this or that, or whether both will do equally well. Light is sweet, and it pleases the eyes to see the sun. However many years a man may live, let him enjoy them all. But let him remember the days of darkness, for there will be, or for they will be many. Everything to come is meaningless. Be happy, young man, while you are young, and let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart and whatever your eyes see, but know that for all these things, God will bring you judgment. So then, banish anxiety from your heart and cast off troubles of your body, for youth and vigor are meaningless. Chapter 12. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come, and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars grow dark and the clouds return after the rain, when the keepers of the house tremble and the door or and the strong men stoop when the grinders cease because they are few and those looking through the windows grow dim when the doors to the street are closed and the sound of the grinding fades when men rise up at the sound of birds but when all their songs grow faint when men are afraid of heights and of dangers in the streets when the almond tree blossoms and the grasshopper drags himself along and desire is no longer stirred then man goes to his eternal home and mourners go about the streets Remember him before the silver cord is severed, or the golden bowl is broken, before the pitcher is shattered at the spring, or the wheel broken at the well. And the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the spirit returns to the God who gave it. Meaningless. Meaningless, says the teacher. Everything is meaningless. Not only was the teacher wise, but he also imparted knowledge to the people. He pondered and searched out and set in order many proverbs. The teacher searched to find just the right words, and what he wrote was upright and true. The words of the wise are like goads. They're collected sayings like firmly embedded nails given by one shepherd. Be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study wearies the body. Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. That is an incredibly powerful conclusion. I mean, I said right at the start of this, that that idea of under the sun, and that was introduced to us. And I'm, I'm so glad it was, because when you read this, it's sometimes easy to forget that this is the, the life without God. What is the point of all of this, if not God? Well, I mean, looking at one of the wisest men or the wisest man to ever exist, and that's where he ends. I mean, I love that right before we get to the conclusion of the matter, at chapter 12, that puts us at 12.8. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Everything is meaningless under the sun. And then we get here, now that all has been heard, here is the conclusion of the matter. What really does what really does matter is God. God is what matters. And I think that's something that's worth praying about because it's so easy to forget because we're surrounded by so many things that want our attention. So let's pray about it. God, we thank you that we can look to you, that you are the one that truly matters. God, all of this life is meaningless without you. You have created it. You are the center by you and for you, all things were made. God, help us to remember that, to never forget. Though we are surrounded by creation, let us not look to creation um, to deliver us. Let us not look to creation to 
Fill that gap, Lord. That gap that you have left there, that we may choose you with our free will, that we may look to you, Lord. Once again, we thank you for all the incredible things on this world, Lord. It is truly beautiful and incredible, but let us never put it ahead of you, God. We thank you again so much for your word and infinitely more um, for your son and what that word means for us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that is about all I have for you today. As always, know that I appreciate you, wife, appreciate you tons, and I will plan on seeing you tomorrow. Have a good one.